steps are a systematic move from one place to the other. Now, when your steps are ordered, you are able to move and enter into places that ordinarily you will not be able to move into. When God orders your steps, there is nothing like compulsion about it. There is nothing compulsion about it. It involves a cooperation. You cooperate with God as he orders your steps into something. But in this, in this short time, we are going to consider one of the well-known narratives in the Old Testament and we are going to learn some few things about how your steps can be ordered into good. Listen, this story, this narrative is a true story where about four guys, they had been hit by a serious calamity called leprosy. Those four guys, lepers they were, but their brains were not leprous. They made an observation and they made a deduction that our situation is dire. And if we sit here, the prospects are not going to change for better. When they started moving, God ordered their steps. Three lessons from the lepers. That ordered their steps. That brought them a miracle. Number one, they didn't sulk. S-U-L-K. Sulk. For many people, many Christians, their reaction of choice in the face of challenges is to sulk. Sulk means you are morose. You are always mildly irritated. Bad tempered. I realize that sulking is often a human reaction to loss. But listen to me, at a point in your life, you've got to realize that sulking will not solve any challenge. Rather, it magnifies it. Hear me. Stop the sulking. And the Lord, for the Lord to order your steps. Number two, the second step. The second thing, second lesson, they utilized the power of partnerships. You read in the in, in, in there in verse number, they said, and they said amongst themselves, it was part the reason they looked at what was what was before them, what they were facing, and they brainstormed. They showed us the power of synergy that one shall chase a thousand, but two shall chase ten thousand. Exponential growth. Hear me whenever or whoever you join or partner with they multiply your results if they are wrong people they multiply your wrong results if they are good people they multiply your good results in life challenges you don't just need company you need counsel and not just counsel you need wise counsel but don't sulk have good company and finally they made a move for improvement why do we sit here until we die? Let's make a move and see whatever happens. Now, please, please, please notice this. In the narrative, nobody gave them help. Never forget that. They took the initiative to go to where help is. I have a question for somebody. When are you going to resign the, your membership from the association of I have no man syndrome? Are you sitting until you die? Take the initiative. Do something. For heaven's sake, do something. What they did to you may not be your fault, but getting up is your responsibility. Stop blaming the people who wounded you. They can't heal you. Stop blaming the people who broke you. They can't fix you. Stop blaming the people who put you in the pit. They can't get you. Why are you sitting there until you die?